You're out of energy in Hogwarts Mystery. And time to finish an activity is about to run out? Don't sweat it. Hogwarts Mystery is full of recharging points. And today, Mrs. Midnight will show you where to find them all. Pets are the first energy point, and one of their advantages is that even if your energy is full, you can click on them and the energy they give you will store as extra. But be sure not to click on the objects in the castle with full energy, because with those, this doesn't happen. And now let's go through all of them in order. First we have the portrait inside the Sphinx Club house. When we click on it, it will normally give us energy, although sometimes it may give coins or animal food. Next one would be the planetarium inside that clubhouse. And finally we can click on Meryl Lapovsky's portrait and that will give us energy as well. Now let's move on to the dragon house club and there we can click on the entrance portrait and almost at the other side we can click on the inside Quidditch camp. Let's move on now to the Hypogriffin House Club, where we can again click on the portrait at the entrance and at the magical creature that's swimming on the lake. At the West Tower, you can click on the fruit painting that's next to Gryffindor's house. In the Natural Reserve of Magical Creatures, you can click on the Wolf Pop and he will give you energy too. Then on the Quidditch Camp by the Stadium, you can click on the Golden Snitch and that will give you another point. Take into consideration that this particular point takes more than a day to recharge. At the East Tower, you can click both on the portrait of the girl and on Pips. At the Lower West Tower, you can click on the torch and the armor that are next to the Great Dining Room. At the dungeons, click on the elf that's sleeping against the wall. Sure, we're gonna wake him, but it's for a good cause. At the castle terrains, move closer to Hagrid's house and you'll see a branch on the grass. Click on the branch and Fang will come get it while you get your energy point. At the lower east floor, click on the books next to the library. In Hogsmeade, move to the left of Honeydukes and you'll see a boy standing on the street. Click on him and while he has a blast sliding with the snow, you'll get another point. At the Forbidden Forest, click on the spider web on the spider nest and as the spider falls, you'll get one more point. At Diagon Alley, click on the golden bag that's in front of Gringotts and as the Niffler takes it, he'll drop an energy point for you. At the Black Lake, click on the tentacle that's wrapped around the rock. Finally, at the Dragon Sanctuary, click on the Norwegian Reach Bag and before flying away, he'll drop an energy point for you. Take into consideration that the same as with the Snitch, this energy point takes longer to appear. As you can see, as you advance in the story, you'll unlock more and more recharging points and more pets that will make the amount of energy that you recover more meaningful every time. However, it's important for you to know that not all the points recharge at the same time and even the quickest ones take several hours to be able to be used again. So don't depend on this to finish your tasks. If this small guide was useful for you, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss next time I upload a new one. Thank you for watching, that's all for today!